What does it mean to watch Vans play at this level? It means it means a ton. Um, you know, playing when Vance was playing T-ball and, and Little League, you know, we always had these dreams of where where could he top out. And um, when he got an opportunity to to be recruited by North Carolina and then had some early success, of course, and and then we've always talked about in the offseason, we always talked about, man, wouldn't it be great to go to Omaha? And this year these guys um, have – have really come together. It's been, as you can, as you have seen, um, with the walk-offs and the close games. They've won a ton of close games. There's just some magic about this team this year, and um, it's been fun to watch. I mean, they have to be messing with your heart rate at this point. The cardiac Carolina. I mean, these guys yeah. are all about the walk-offs. You got to see your son walk it off. Yeah. Yeah. What was the heart rate there? Um, it, it. I'm a little anxious to be honest with you, um, but you know. I think Coach Forbes has done a good job conditioning these guys to, to really buy into, if it's not me, it's going to be the next guy. And so our conversations with fans, he sort of conditioned us as parents um, to sort of buy into that same concept. And w the other night when he was up, I honestly thought if he didn't do it, someone else was going to do it. Um, and that's just, that's just a testament to this team. Well, Bobby, you played in this very cultural series back in 1989. How cool is it to share this moment with your son in his final season as a Tar Heel? Yeah, especially on Father's Day. Um, it kind of chokes me up a little bit. Um, but it is super special. And um, for him to have this opportunity and for us to share it, his two sisters are here, um, Julia and Kayla. So it is it's truly a family um, visit this week, and hopefully we can um, continue some of that magic. I see the emotion. I mean, what has gone into this baseball journey for you and your family? So much sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, we, um, I think it is a sacrifice, but um, we, we wouldn't have done it if he didn't love it. And, and he loves, he loves it. Um, he loves baseball. He loves to compete. And most of all, he loves his team. And, um, and we are just so fortunate to be able to support him um, in what he loves to do. All right, we can put Vance on the spot a little bit. You got any funny stories from his childhood of his competitiveness? Oh, wow. Um, well, when he was a youngster, I think he was, um, he never really pitched. Um, but in, in B League, um, which is leading up to the oldest level of Little League, um, we had to put him in there as a pitcher. And, um, <laughs> and, he, I don't. He wasn't that good as a pitcher, um, and he was a late bloomer physically too. So, um, but you could tell that that his desire to do well sort of outpaced his ability to do well back then. And on our ride home that day, he was all upset, and I was just trying to you know calm him down to to make sure that you know we support him, whether it's success or failure. Um, you know, but I, I could just see, I could see his his desire, and um, he just he's just a competitor. I think he made the right choice heading out to center field. I, I think it's okay. The pitcher dreams didn't work out. No, no doubt. So he, he was as most of these guys are. They're recruited as shortstops. He was a shortstop in high school, um, but he will tell you the story that day one in practice, Forbes put him with all the other shortstops, and. Um, I think he threw one into the stands, he threw one on the dirt, and Forbes gave him another glove and said, once you go to center field, and um, maybe the rest is history. Absolutely. Well, witnessing more history in Omaha, congratulations on getting here with your family, and happy Father's Day. Thank you so much.